thought it was about burlesque. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a, yeah, not exactly. Put this on, please. Cut from dime store cotton, fastened from behind at the neck. Designed for easy access to your nakedness. It's issued in exchange for your clothes and valuables when they've checked if you can pay. The trick to tying it, their little secret. It may sport stripes or flowers, though most are plain as winding sheets. If soiled, it can be cleaned or simply tossed. Your robe for the mute choir that haunts the halls, wheeling its tubes and IVs, or tosses in sleep, or just stares dully, draped in this chilly birthright. Uh, I'm going to finish up with a uh, poem about my father. Uh, we had trouble with tools. Uh, you know, he was the man in the house, and the man in the house was supposed to know how to use tools. Thank God he had a white collar job in and do his work and be mocked there. But uh, when anything went wrong in the house, he tried to fix it. He, you know, he did his he did his damnedest, but he was defeated every time. And, and I thought I'd uh, like give him a tribute for that. Uh, there's a reference to Laocoon in this poem. Does everybody know who Laocoon was? Laocoon. He was a Greek character from Greek mythology, and he was uh, uh, he had offended the gods, and they visited upon him a plague of serpents. And there's a famous statue called Laocoon where he's and his two sons also are are draped with these anaconda-sized serpents, and they're like this. And uh, the first time I saw that in art class when I was in, in college, I thought, that looks like Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the the connections explained in the poem, I think, just to fix it. Cursed by the broken gods who govern tools, my father turned Laocoon with power cords and garden hoses, blind pew with drills and hammers, screws talked back, nails went rubbery, saws turned piranha. He'd swear, fumble, curse his way through the gauntlet of directions, jamming a half-inch bolt in the hole for a quarter-inch dowel, joining tab A to extension N, skipping the ambiguous step 5A. <laughs> God damn it, he declared to the unresponsive skies. Lousy son of a bitch, he'd save for our electric mower, whose cord he'd sever every other turn. <laughs> a combat vet with two bronze stars he soldiered on till the day he bought the canister of Grobright, advertised to turn your lawn lush as the greens at Pebble Beach. An IED in his uncertain grasp. It worked by pumping air to force the liquid out the nozzle. He took the contents in his face, the metal lid grazing an ear. There was no talk at dinner. <laughs> Only the AC chuckling under the window. <laughs> <laughs>